The Scans platform offers a completely redesigned charting experience. These charts were designed specifically with technical analysts in mind. Every chart comes packed with some powerful features, so let's start exploring. In the top left, you can enter any ticker symbol you'd like to load a chart for. If I enter Apple, Apple's chart will be loaded. If you'd like to load multiple charts, you can create tab charts by opening new tabs. Here I can add another chart for Twitter. We can add as many of these different charts as we'd like. Once you've loaded up your tickers, it's time to start customizing the chart itself. You'll find a bunch of different options in the top right hand corner. First, you can choose your time frame. You can choose between daily charts, weekly charts, monthly charts, and intraday charts. Once you've selected a time frame, you can choose your chart style. We have a lot of built in styles. We have your classic candles, bars, we have colored bars, you can load up line charts. For now, I'm going to stick with the candle chart as it's one of the preferred chart types for day traders. There are a few other settings you can set from the chart style window. You can choose if you'd like to use a log scale, whether or not you'd like to include extended hours, which can be great when you're using five or one minute timeframes, and whether or not you want to include a range selector, which is a little area on the bottom of the screen that makes it easier to navigate the chart. You can also change your time zone if you'd like, and then you can start changing the style of the chart itself. Scans comes with two built-in chart styles. You have day, which is a lighter chart, and you have night, which is a much darker chart. You can customize these themes further by creating your own. For example, if I wanted a darker background, I could come here, set a black background, and save this as my dark theme. Now, the theme is available under themes, and I can easily switch between my own custom themes and the pre-built themes that come with the platform. Once I find a theme that I like, I can begin to add my different indicators. This chart looks like it needs some volume bars, so I'll go ahead and add those. I've added the volume bars, and I can continue to add all of the different technical indicators I need. We have almost every technical indicator you can think of, so feel free to scroll through and choose the ones that are most relevant to your trading strategy. If I want to add the RSI, it's as simple as clicking on the RSI indicator. I can also add customizable technical indicators like moving averages. I can go to the moving average option, set this to 200 days. We'll use a close price as the field for the average, and we'll change this to an exponential moving average. I can also change the color to exactly what I'd like and play around with a few of the other settings. You can add as many different indicators as you'd like to your chart. Once you're done, you'll want to save the template so you can access it at any time. To do that, go to My Templates, click Save Template, and name your new template. We'll call this one Favorite. You can build and save as many templates as you'd like. Notice I just created the favorite template and now it's accessible from the templates menu. I can also switch to some of my other templates that I've created in the past. Next to the My Templates dropdown, you'll find a few other settings you can play around with. First, you have the crosshair. The crosshair is a convenient tool for lining up price levels and analyzing the chart. You can drag the chart around, you can identify key support and resistance levels, and it basically just makes it easier to navigate the chart. You can also click on this info section, which gives you two different options. First, you can set these info bubbles to pop up when you hover over a specific candle. These info bubbles will show us the open price, close price, high price, low price, and the volume for the candle we're analyzing. If you click on the info tab again, this information is summarized in the top left of the screen, which can make it easier to navigate the chart without having any pop-ups. To the right of the info tab, you'll find options to annotate the chart. Click on the draw button, navigate to the top left of the screen, and choose which drawing tools you'd like to use. We have every annotation tool you could possibly imagine. We have Fibonacci retracements. We have ellipses that you can use to identify areas that may be interesting. Let's say you found an earnings report showed up in one of these areas. And of course, we have all of the basics like rays, lines, and trend lines that you can add to the chart. You can add as many different annotations as you'd like, and these annotations will be saved to your account. In the bottom right hand of the charting window, you have some quick options to switch timeframes. This allows you to easily analyze a stock across multiple timeframes, which can be helpful for identifying key points of support and resistance. Below the easy navigation, you'll find three options. 
You'll have a link option, which allows you to link the charting window to other windows. For example, you may choose to link your charts to your level two screens. So anytime you change the ticker on your charts, it's updated on the level two window. You also have the option to take a screenshot, which basically just allows you to save an image of the chart. And then you can clone this window by clicking the third button to the right, which basically makes a carbon copy of the window if you'd like to open multiple charts. The possibilities are endless with the scans charting module. We welcome you to load up the platform, open charts, and start customizing them to your liking. If you have any questions whatsoever, just reach out to our support team and we'll be more than happy to help.